You got built spills a certain thing, and it's really unique, and it's really, uh, you know, it's Doug's own thing, and not a lot of people mm -hmm. make music like that. Yeah, I'm too much of a control freak to have Brett in the band. Mm -hmm. That's not what I would say. But I would it, say that. Okay, I wasn't alluding to that, though. That's true, though. I mean, uh, that's... Me, too, and I'm too much of a control freak to be in somebody else's band. Right. Because when I, yeah, when, you know, in Caustic Resin, it's, it's uh, repeating, this, playing the same part every night is kind of a no-no, actually. Mm -hmm. Whereas in Built Spill, that's the name of the game. at right now is something that's been gradual you know mm -hmm. this is yeah. you know this is a, our whatever you know biggest shows mm -hmm. are in a trip to New York but you know last time around we played pretty big show and the time before that pretty big and uh -huh, right. smaller before that so it's, it's been a totally gradual thing it seems natural and, um, you know just you know I have my own ideas about what I'm doing and mm -hmm. I just kind of stick to that and if someone understands it great mm -hmm. if they don't that's fine too. Right. I don't expect anyone to. And so, I, you know, I mean, I think someone might, you know, people uh, like with lyrics, you know, that don't really mean much. There's people that they do mean something to that I don't even understand what, you know, what, right. what it is, and it means something more than what I had in mind. You know, when I started playing guitar, it was uh, when I was in high school, like in the mid-80s. Um, and what was really great to me was people, um, like, it was when punk rock was happening, and punk rock and do-it-yourself stuff, uh, SST, and, and my friends uh, in, in Boise, people were putting on punk rock shows, and uh, I learned that you could uh, make music. Um, even though you weren't a great singer or guitar player or had uh, connections or on a label or anything, you could still do that stuff and make music that was as good as what the pros were doing. Um, that, so that was really inspirational to me and that's the only reason I'm doing this at all is because um, I was shown by some other people that you can do it even if you have uh, a limited amount of talent, if you have a, you know enough other ideas or, you know, you know, creative in other ways, you can you can make music that people want to listen to. Well, when you live in Boise and you grow up in Boise, uh, you want to get out of it because it's kind of a small town. So there's a few places people go, and most most of them go to Seattle just because it's in the area and it's a you know decent-sized city. 
So that's that's why we went, ended up there. Was um, we kind of moved up there as a band, my old band, Tree People, and uh, um, and yeah, the grunge thing was happening when we were there, but we weren't really a part of that. We were a little bit. Uh, Tad, he was a friend of ours. He was from Boise, so we played a couple shows with him. And uh, this guy who managed us a little bit worked at Sub Pop, and he, he he's Chris Dacino. He ran Up Records. He put out our first or our second album. Um, so we kind of had a little bit of ties to that world, but we were more in kind of, we were still kind of playing like punk rock shows, you know, do-it-yourself shows, a lot of those. And, um, and you know, there are other scenes too, like any, any city or any, you know, you know, the city's known for one scene, but there's a lot of other things going on too. We kind of fit. Partially, part of it too was that when I started the band, I was living in a small town in Idaho called Caldwell, and where my wife was finishing school, and she was going to go to graduate school. So my idea was, you know, I'd follow her wherever she goes and get a new group of people together wherever that is, and but keep the name and keep, you know, keep a discography and stuff, but be able to. And there's also I'd been in this band Tree People for a really long time, and we had. It was like a family you know it was in fact two of the guys were brothers <laughs> and then and we all moved together we all hung out all the time we practiced four or five times a day and party together and and you know and it, it was wonderful but it was also intense and, and ugly you know um, and I wanted to not have anything to do with that serious of a situation again I wanted a band that was just oh we get together and play music and we don't know much else about each other so that was, and also, like you said, to make different kinds of music so every record could be really different by having different players. 